Hello, in this presentation I'm going to show you how to use weights for different assessment activities within your sequences. The principle behind it is that within a sequence you might encounter that you have several assessment activities but you only want to get certain percentages of points or grades for each of these assessments. So in this case let's do a sequence, a very simple sequence in which what we do is we'll have an assessment activity which is a revision from a previous lesson that the students have gone through and then we're going to present the students with some resources and then a final exam on assessing how much they have understand of the new resources that we have given them. So in this case we will link our very simple sequence together, arrange it and then look look at the outputs of these activities. So again, the revision is, where, is the activity that we're going to get the students to go through to review content they have done before. And the exam is going to be the final score that we want to give them for the new lesson. So in this case, uh, we're going to set the gradebook output to be the last mark that they've gotten and for both assessments. And now let's click on the wait button. The weights button would actually show us the two activity, in this case two, but for each assessment activity that you have within the sequence, you will be able to set the weightage that you want for each of them. In this case, as revision is a revision to a previous activity or a previous lesson, we're going to set that to 10%, whereas the exam that we have now, we're going to give it 90%. Now in this case, as you can see, if you give it more than the score, that uh, more than 100%, it would actually give you a red label, which is an error and will not allow you to save the sequence. So once that we have set the score to 100%, then we can save our sequence. And in this example, I'm using capitals around the world. And in this case, for particular for this lesson, it's European capitals, what we're going to assess, assess on exam. Now let's take a look at how this looks once that we create the lesson for our learners. Once that I access this lesson as a student, first you will see that there's the four activities in the progress bar. We're in the introduction and of course this is blank as we haven't actually added anything to it. So let's go to the first revision exam. Here's our first revision exam and where we are reviewing the capitals of South America. So let's just enter some options here. Okay, we answer them all. So let's go next. And as you can see, we got 8 out of 10. So that's 80% for this particular test. Now, this is the other activity, which is our share resources activity. Here's what we would actually put the content that then we want the students to assess, assess on, the, on the last activity, which is our exam, which is this one right here. Now, in this case, it's European capitals. And these are, um, I believe, five questions on different European, for European capitals. So let's just answer this all correctly. And as you can see now, that basically the score is 10 out of 10, so we got 100% for this one. Now, when we finish our activity, this is what we'll see. We got 98%, and that is because in exam, we got top mark, and revision, we get 8. Now, take into consideration that revision is at 10% of the total, whereas exam is at 90%. Therefore, the total summary is 98%. And that's it. That's basically how you use weight and how it reflects when students are finishing their lessons. Alright, thank you very much. Leave us comments if you want. Bye-bye.